hi guys <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Nontlantla and welcome to the channel i hope that you are going to enjoy it here and you're going to consider subscribing um you guys i wanted to give you um i wanted to just give you guys oh before we before we go there let's address the elephant in the room so these glasses guys they are prescription glasses i got them from Zelu. i will link my uh, try on haul video down in the description box so that you guys can go and give it some love and also uh see if you can save yourself some coins i've got a discount code for 10 percent off if you are buying across their website they are so 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 much beautiful they sent me for um frames and they are prescription classes because i do wear classes like guys know so without wasting any time let's go ahead and start today's business i've got my notes because i didn't want to forget anything so these are my top five tips of things that will make your makeup look cheap and you guys i'm not talking about the product price i'm talking about your face your whole face bit that it can be dropped by these things even if like we are using your most expensive products but the minute you do these things or the minute you use some of these things or you don't use some of these things that's when your makeup will drop and look cheap okay so the first thing that i have here is that you must never wear a lipstick without a lip liner so you guys the lip liner has got two benefits the first one is it prevents your lipstick from bleeding so what is bleeding bleeding is when your lipstick or your lip gloss is now here outside your lips that is called bleeding if you have your lip um if you have let me fix my lip while we are still talking about that okay so i'm wearing this lip from legit and then the lip liner is from essence so you guys if you are wearing a lipstick or a lip gloss without the lip liner it's going to bleed it's going to be it's going to come out here but if you have this then it prevents your lipstick from bleeding or from coming out and then the second one it gives um it gives color and it it makes it makes the lipstick or the lip gloss make sense in what way our lips are naturally lighter in the middle and then they are darker on the outside so when you have your lip liner it defines and brings back that natural look that you're supposed to have so what happens is even if you are wearing a red lip you can still wear a lip liner that is red so that you can avoid your your lipstick from bleeding so across the screens i am going as i speak i'm going to uh post um pictures on the screen of what i'm talking about uh, when i'm saying your lipstick is going to bleed or is going to do this and do that and do that and while we are still on the lipstick the other thing that you must always avoid that can make your makeup look cheap is when your lipstick is sitting here on your teeth now we are even scared to tell you that you have lipstick on your teeth so more than the fact that you must always check yourself on the mirror when you apply your lipstick when we are done applying or when we are done with your lips you must do this put your finger clean finger obviously inside close your mouth and drag it outside if there is anything that has a potential of sticking onto your teeth will come off onto your finger and then you can wash your hands to avoid it that's the only way because sometimes when you are applying it even if it's matte before it dries up then it goes onto your lips and then by the time it's it's dry it's on your your teeth and you might not notice that and what's going to happen is you're going to go out there and people are speaking to you they are not looking at your beautiful face but they are looking at the makeup that is stuck on your teeth so please 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 avoid that and then let's move on to tip number two so tip number two is foundation you guys there is nothing that is a turn off there's nothing that is as bad as someone that is wearing a foundation that does not match their skin 
girl please please make sure that you go to the shops and you guys i am not trying to um look down on any shops or trying to look down on anybody um we all have been struggling with finding our right shade of um foundation but i would say that if it's at all possible do not go to this camp for a foundation match those ladies are not patient enough those ladies uh usually it's people that i've met i don't know if everyone and if you know otherwise you can correct me down on the description box most of those people will just show you something and leave you to test it by yourself and go stand somewhere and some of them they come they recommend a shade but you can also see that this is not my shade and we are not comfortable but they will insist on giving it to you do not the best places to go to are the shops that have makeup artists at the shop or at the stall that can try it on on your face you can try try different shades and they explain to you and then if you are comfortable that your neck is going to end up looking like your face after foundation then that is your shade do not do not i have fallen onto that trip of you going to the shop and you trust the person and they give you a shade you are still not comfortable but you decide to take it who's gonna look like a spooko it's you so please 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 if you can i would say go to edgar's they usually have like professional makeup artists go to woolies they usually have and i think for chini as well but for chini i've been unlucky in that i would find someone that is not really as uh, patient uh, so i would say edgar's and woolworths you will definitely find someone that is going to match your skin even if it's like too light or too dark it just drops your makeup and it makes it look very cheap let's go to our tip number three okay so for tip number three you guys i think um i think because of the new trend as well uh my feeling is also coming from there so recently you guys will notice that the eyebrows that have been trending is like your fluffy natural brow and we are from a style or a trend where we had like solid eyebrows and there's definitely nothing wrong with having solid eyebrows but let's try and use a shade that is not too dark you cannot be my shade and you are using a black pencil a black pen pencil is going to make it too 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 dark especially if you're not gonna wear a full face bit then it's just going to drop everything down because nobody has like dark 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 black eyebrows so let's try and make make up a tool for us to enhance our beauty not really change who we are or how we look so whatever that we put it must be something that is close if it's not the shade the same shade as our skin so with uh, that being said i'm going to show you guys the um, the photos on the screen of the stuff that i'm talking about and again you guys the pictures that i am using here i am not trying to disrespect people that i am using their pictures of i am also not trying to say that it's a certain tribe or a certain skin color of people that are doing whatever these are just the pictures that i found easily or that came up when i was doing my research online so i hope that i am not going to offend anyone by any means because this is just a sister to sister advice or tip without wasting any time let's go to tip number four so with tip number four is eyelashes you guys i love eyelashes you guys know this i love 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 eyelashes but i feel like for your day-to-day -day makeup look you don't need dramatic lashes you don't need lashes that have colors i've seen people wearing like blue and black wearing like pink and black you don't need that that immediately drops your makeup it drops your makeup it makes it look so 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 cheap you look like i don't know what but try by all means and wear natural short uh, eyelashes we can see that you have your eyelashes but it's not like your dramatic we are even struggling to see the beauty of your eyes because the eyelashes are hiding your eyes i am also going to insert the pictures on the screen so that you guys can have a look and then let's move on to tip number five which is going to be our last tip tip number five is harsh contour what harsh contour 
you guys contouring is to bring back the color on your face it's also a way of us snatching our faces so that you can bring definition it's for you to have a certain shape so that you can appear smaller and especially if you have a round face or whatever then it makes your face um smaller it makes very contoured like the name but it's not for you to apply like a very very dark concealer or dark whatever product that you are using to contour because what that causes is that you struggle to blend it and now when we are sitting close to you like we can just see a huge dark line across your face and now it's defeating the whole purpose of having your contour is diffusing is it's defeating the whole purpose so you guys if you can use two shades to contour use two shades darker than your foundation and then use that as a contour for highlighting use two shades lighter than your contour but again if you are struggling with blending make sure that you are using one shade lighter or one shade darker for contouring don't use something that is too 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 dark because it's going to be an issue when you have to blend it and when it's not blended then it's not cute now we are not even focused on your beautiful face beat but we are looking at your contour all right guys without wasting any time i think we have come to the end of this video i really hope that you guys have learned something and if you i have offended you in any way i'm really really sorry and i didn't really mean to offend you but i just wanted to give you my tips and my top five of things that i try by all means to avoid so that my makeup can look as good as i want it to look like and you guys i will see you on my next video next week thank you so much for sticking up to this far and love you so much